Ruler School is brought to you by Odyssey Games, where you can go to get singles for all your Force of Will and other trading card games, as well as these amazing patrons. Thank you for your support. Class is in session. Hey there, Rulers. DMO73 here, bringing you the deck profile for the green, black, white, dark Atlas control list that you saw Paul play earlier this week. It is not a huge twist from the crystals list last week, but there are some noticeable things about how this deck is trying to get along to its win condition and some additional tech pieces that kind of make it more towards that kind of game plan of the control, which is what we're going to talk about. So obviously our ruler is the Dark Alice. Doesn't need too much of an introduction there. Going into Unknown Mother Goose for the Regalia doesn't also need too much of an introduction there, except for the fact that this card can pay for Fairy Tales. So this card makes being able to play Kaguya in this deck significantly better because all you need is one green source and an unknown mother goose and then suddenly you have access to Kaguya will when um, if you're not a rune deck it has always been a little bit awkward so Dark Alice gets to play that pretty comfortably. Um, stone base wise we're playing four Adoraxia's Memoria, three Heaven's Rift, and three Black Silence. You might be able to bump this up to four Black Silence but like the only card that relies on green in this deck is the Kaguya so it's kind of how much do you want to commit to not being able to play your white sources, especially when you're considering that Schrodinger is also such a beast in this deck. Um, so obviously, uh, some of our, our, our main win cons really are Shadow X and Schrodinger, um, using these cards to push the aggression with the crystal generation that you just kind of passively get with this deck, or for Shadow X is just getting to a point where you've controlled the board to the state where you have so many Darkest Gems that a Shadow X is just lethal, which is very, very nice considering you can grab Shadow X off of the Dark Alice flip like you saw in the match. Um, two copies of Shadow Swordsmaster probably can consider bumping this up to three. The main reason we're only at two is because it's a shadow, so we can't get it off of Dark Alice, um, but we can pay for it with uh, Unknown Mother Goose, which is very, very nice. It's a great way to be able to refill your hand as the game goes along or just as you kind of run out of those initial control pieces. Nightmare Knight because it can help you grab uh, Kaguya's which is very very excellent but we're only playing a couple copies because it's not the best card really. Um, four copies of Yggdrasil because we want to be able to get to Unknown Mother Goose as much as possible for crystal generation as well as being able to play with Kaguya's cheaper. Um, four copies of Schrodinger's Cry for some nice removal. This could be replaceable with mis um, Crystallization. It's kind of based on what your meta looks like. Four copies of Dark Alice Smile because it RFGs this discard spell, which is very, very nice, and we can awaken it to be able to pick anything very, very easily. It's also a Mage Art, so you can cast it off of Unknown Mother Goose, which is nice. So the idea being you could cast Unknown Mother Goose, have a couple smiles in hand, use the Darkness Crystals generated by Dark by um, Dark Alice with the Goose entering, awaken it twice, and then steal any two cards you want out of your opponent's hand and get them rfg would Four copies of Shadow Strike, just for some additional spot removal that can turn into forcing banishes, which is great. Three copies of the World of Dark Alice for some board wipe potential, as well as being able to get rid of Regalia or generate additional crystals for lethal. And then lastly, two Black Moon Ray for some J Ruler hate. Like I said, it's a pretty straightforward list. Um, very, you know, the whole idea is you're kind of playing this control game with Kaguya uh, and then getting into Shadow X or uh, Schrodinger for kind of pushing through for lethal as well as using Shadow Swordsmaster to board clear and make make holes for you to be able to poke through that way. Um, but that is the list. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections down below or if you've taken a completely different take on Dark Alice, we'd love to hear about it. You can always let us know down below. And until next time, this is DMO73 saying class dismissed.